Here we are on a beautiful Roanoke, Texas day. And all the Chevron cars indoors at a collection here. Anyway, what we have here is a really nice 1950 Mercury 8 two-door sedan, mild resto mod, but what a beautiful uh, work of art. Anyway, we're gonna walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Uh, this particular car, we know the history on it well, it actually came out of a Mercury collection in Central California. And uh, all the Mercury's were put together by a gentleman. They're all very nice, very meticulous style restoration. This is more of a body on or style restoration of a rock solid Southern California or California style car. It's finished in a uh, garnet red or a deep maroon metallic. You can kind of get a feel here. It has uh, true spoke wheels on it, chrome spoke wheels. All those trim and bright work is nicely uh, restored during the restoration of this one. We'll get, uh, get some undercarriage video right where it sits here for you. We crawled underneath it. Uh, underneath the hood here it has a Ramjet 350 V8, a complete crate engine underneath the hood. Nicely done, mild custom, has air conditioning, has a, a 700R4 automatic overdrive transmission. Nice subtle horsepower in this one, Ford 9 inch rear differential. Just beautiful. The chrome work on it is all show quality chrome. The grill is just wonderful in it. Body's just beautifully straight. Mercury 8 two-door sedan. See the reflections in it. All the trim and bright work. The door is just set like bank vaults on this one. Just a really nice car. Door jam to door jam. High level finish. I uh, believe it's a glasserate paint on it. Door jam there. Has a uh, under dash AC. Really cool vintage style. It has a nice uh, Maroon uh, contrasting maroon interior all the door all the factory trim still here uh, Crank up windows Rear windows are uh, vent out windows the Rocker we will see a lot of uh, powder coating here. The rockers are powder coated nice Nice vinyl cloth combination in it you an idea the back seat has seat belts in it perfect to haul the grandkids or go out for a show or drive-in movie event kind of thing we'll go around the other side and fight up here for you watch this door boom nice solid car we'll get you in the trunk trunks finished off similar to the interior very uh, good looking car that's for sure Give you an idea of the finish here in the showroom. You can see the reflection almost every light in the ceiling. We'll get you underneath the hood and we'll fire it up and all the stuff Spud's Garage usually does. The locking uh, gas cap. Shoulder restraint seat belts were installed here. Nice. Early style grab handles in the back. Oh shoot handle handles. Seat belts up front. Beautiful Merc dash. Same finish quality follows out throughout the dash here. Go ahead and fire it up here for you. Sixteen thousand four hundred and twenty on the odometer at the time of inspection. Radio, uh, we never test these old radios. You can definitely subtly uh, Bluetooth something in here. Underneath AC. Nice, this car is really fresh inside. Nobody's ever smoked in it for that kind of thing. The AC is cold. We've run it a little bit. Temps uh, just barely starting to crack up there. It is charging. Right here. Fuel gauge, a little too low on fuel. Oil pressure is uh, about 40 pounds or so.
Emergency brake does work on it. Hood release is there. We'll get out and let you hear it run. What a beauty. Daylights are on, license plate works. Watch this door like the other side. Let it let it flow. All right, we'll get you underneath the hood here. It has a uh, GM Performance Parts uh, Ramjet 350 underneath the hood here. Pretty much this, the gentleman that restored this was able to buy them from GM Direct where they had accessories top to bottom and they're kind of plug and play, hook up to the tranny. So stock exhaust manifolds on it. it has a 700R4 automatic overdrive transmission. Obviously an electronic ignition with uh, multi-port, tuned multi-port fuel injection. Serpentine belt drive system here. This is the uh, coolant reservoir bottle. It's just mounted neatly underneath this uh, powder coated fender apron. I've got some help holding up the hood because the hood springs are a little bit weak here and I don't want it slamming on me. There are a pair of brand new ones in the trunk. If you want to put them on, you can. GM radial style compressor. Again, exhaust manifold, kind of a plug and play thing. Ford nine inch rear differential. I'll get you in the trunk here. Very nice uh, high-end carpet, just like the interior of the car. Nice little panel back here. Here's the uh, on onboard compressor switch to air shocks in the rear. Spare with the uh, mini spare with the uh, GM style where you fill it up with uh, in a can, fill it up with air. Bottom side of the deck lid. Okay, we uh, unsnap the curtain here to share the onboard compressors back in there for the rear air shocks. Nice little cubby hole back here. All right, we don't have a lift, but we're gonna cover it for you. We've been down on the ground, rock solid, dry climbing body. Uh, upgrades on the front suspension, power steering. Stabilizer bar in the front there, disc brakes, power disc brakes, so safe and easy to drive. Take a look at the paint as we go along here too, 700R4 automatic overdrive right there. Nice dry solid rockers. We know the history this collection came out of, this car came out of collection wise. Floor pans there. Been driven a little bit. That's a good thing. Beautiful driver, rock solid car. Dual exhaust. Ford 9 inch rear differential. Rear stabilizer bar there. Anti chatter bar. Decided to get on it. His air shocks in the rear. An onboard compressor in the trunk. There you go.